Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen and this is Mama's Reading Nook and today's video is all about my fall TBR and my September reset. So basically I used to do like a monthly TBR thing and it just never really worked out for me. It made me feel kind of like I was confined and so I've just kind of decided to do a seasonal TBR to get me through the burr months. So September, October, November, maybe some of December because I do like to do spooky reads during the Christmas season as well and if that makes me weird then fine. I'm weird. Anyway, so first thing we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk about my fall TBR and then we're gonna reset for September, which basically means putting all of these on my TBR shelf behind me. It means making sure all of my calendars match, making some graphics for the month, that kind of thing. I think my graphic for this month though is basically just gonna be, hey, here's my fall TBR. Now, these are not all of the books I'm going to read. I am hoping what I can do is slide some books in there that maybe if I'm I can mood read you know what I mean these are all books that I want to read this fall but if I don't get to all of them it's okay like I have to be okay with that but also I want to be able to slip in books that maybe are more of like a mood read situation you know what I mean so originally I was gonna film this on the floor but I tweaked my back and I'm pretty sure I tweaked my back moving my stationary bike yesterday so that I could get into the closet to put some things away pretty sure I tweaked my back so sitting on the floor is not an option because then I can't get up so that's just where we are first things first let's talk about my fall TBR now take a peek at the stack of books Boop. Boop. I'm excited. Okay, so first things first. I have already started this one. I've read only like the first chapter and it's when the moon hatched. This is a 700 page bad boy. And basically this is about an assassin for the rebellion group Fjord Ath. Her name is Rave and her job is to complete orders and never get caught. When a rival bounty hunter turns her world upside down, blood spills, hearts break, and Rave finds herself imprisoned by the Guild of Nobles, a group of powerful fae who turn her into a political statement. Crushed by the loss of his great love, Khan Vager took the head of a king and donned his melted crown. Now on a tireless quest to quell the never ebbing ache in his chest, a clue lures him into the capital's highest security prison where he stumbles upon the imprisoned Rave. Echoes of the past race between them there's more to their story than meets the eye and some truths are too poisonous to swallow so that is when the moon hatched and it has dragons so i'm very excited but i think i'll be reading other things also with this guy so i don't get burnt out on it so we'll see we'll see how it goes but so far it's good it does have like a whole like i said i'm only on chapter two but it does have like a whole dang pronunciation guide and it has a glossary and it has like the different characters and the different creatures and the beings and the places and it's got a lot of stuff in it every now and then i have to go back and say hey what mm but it'll be good, it'll be good. I'm excited. So the next book on my fall TBR is Dreadful by Caitlin Rosakis. Um, this one <laughs> is basically a guy wakes up and realizes that he is a evil wizard. Doesn't realize that he was, doesn't realize what he did, and he's not really sure how he ended up with a castle full of goblins or why he has a princess locked in a cell. This will be fun. It's like a vil from a villain's perspective, but the villain doesn't realize he's a villain. So I think it'll be good. He's like got to get his memory back. I think it'll be good. And not to mention, look at those sprayed edges. I am a sucker, a sucker for a sprayed edge on a book. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited for that one. And then we're gonna try to get to House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin Craig. I have not read this yet, obviously. It's very popular, it's got a sequel. She's coming out with another book that I really wanna read as well. Hopefully in the fall season if I can get my hands on it, but we'll see. But I'm not gonna mention that because I don't actually have the physical book. I'm trying to just show you books I have that I wanna read this fall from my personal TBR. So, and this is one of them. So this is Annalie lives in a, sh lives a sheltered life at Highmore with our sisters. 
Once there were 12, but loneliness fills the grand halls now that four of the girls' lives have been cut short, each death more tragic than the last. Disturbed by a series of ghostly visions, Annalie becomes increasingly suspicious that her sister's deaths were no accident. The girls have been sneaking out every night to attend glittering balls, dancing until dawn in silk gowns and shimmering slippers, and Annalie isn't sure whether to try to stop them or to join their forbidden trysts, because who or what are they really dancing with? When Annalie's involvement with a mysterious stranger who has secrets of his own intensifies. It's a race to unravel the darkness that has fallen over her family before it claims her next. I'm excited. I want to try to read this. It sounds like it'll be a good time. We'll see how it goes, right? We'll see how it goes. And then I want to read Emily Wilde's Map of the Other Lands by Heather Fawcett. This is book two of the Emily Wilde series. Basically, she is a scholar that is out on a mission to basically make an encyclopedia. The first one of ever, the first one was she was making an encyclopedia of all the fairies and now she's mapping it out. But I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not even going to read the back because I don't if you haven't read the first one, I don't want to I don't want to give anything away. You know what I mean? So I'm excited for that one. We're going to read that one. And then we're also going to read The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. Again, look how pretty this book is. And sucker for a sprayed edge, like I said. Sucker for a sprayed edge. This one is a cottage core book. So I'm very excited. But it says Keila has always had trouble dealing with people. Thankfully, as a librarian at the Great Library of Elysium, she had her assistant she and her assistant Kaz, a magically sentient spider plant, have spent the last decade sequestered among the Empire's most precious spell books, preserving their magic for the city's elite. When a revolution begins and the library goes up in flames, she and Kaz flee with all the spell books they can carry and head to a remote island Keela never thought she'd see again, her childhood home. Taking refuge there, Keela discovers, much to her dismay, a nosy and very handsome neighbor who can't take a hint and keeps showing up day after day to make sure she's fed and help fix up her new home. In need of income, Keela identifies something that even the bakery in town doesn't have. Jam. With the help of an old recipe book her parents left her and a bit of illegal magic, her cottage garden is soon covered in ripe berries. But magic can do more than make life a little sweeter. So Keela risks the con consequences of using unsanctioned spells and opens the island's first ever and much needed secret spell shop. I'm excited. It sounds so stinking cozy. It's jam. She's gonna make jam and there's spells and it's a witch and it's, it's gonna be cozy. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're gonna read that. And then also on the fall TBR is Wisteria by Adeline Grace. This is the third book in the Belladonna Foxglove Wisteria trilogy. I'm not gonna tell you what this one is about because again I would be giving a lot of way and this is the final installment. So I'm not gonna tell you things. If you want to know what this is about go read Belladonna. Go read Foxglove and then read this one because I'm excited. It's going to be good. It's going to be so good. And then we're going to read Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer. I read Assistant to the Villain and I loved it and I'm going to read the sequel. And I'm not going to tell you what this is about. I'll tell you that Assistant to the Villain, we are following Evie and Evie is become the assistant to a serial killer murderer in her kingdom and it's very snarky and sarcastic and the banter is great. She kind of starts to realize that like he's handsome and that he is kind of starting to realize that he likes her but everything it's like I'm a villain I shouldn't have these feelings you know blah blah blah. So that's all an assistant to the villain and then this one is apprentice to the villain where she ends up stepping up obviously because the last book ends on a little bit of a cliffhanger and so this is the sequel to that and I'm very very excited. The banter was amazing in Assistant to the Villain. It was very funny and sarcastic and I just really enjoyed it. I had a really good time with it and so I'm really excited to get to this one because I've missed Kingsley and Kingsley is the frog and the frog. Do you see him up there? Do you see him? <sighs> he holds up signs. He wears a little crown and he holds up signs. It's so stinking cute and I love it. So I'm very excited to get to this one as well. And then we're going to read Gothicana by Runix. I don't know how to say her name and I apologize. I am very excited for this book. I mean, look how pretty it is. Again, sucker for a sprayed edge. That is a dark purple, dark blue sprayed edge right there for you. And I'm very excited. This book is like gorgeous and it's gothic, dark academia, dark romance. Um, Nevermore is the Academy. 
And then like, look at the inside of this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So this one says an outcast her entire life, Corvina Clem is left adrift after losing her mother when she receives the admission letter from a mysterious university of Varenmore. Not Nevermore, Nevermore is the, the book, other books. Varenmore. She accepts it as a sign from the universe. The last thing she expects, though, is an old secluded castle on top of a mountain riddled with secrets, deceit, and death. Vad Deverall is an enigma and enjoys being a closed book, but knows exactly everything that happens in the university. As a part-time professor working on his thesis, Vad has been around long enough to know the dangers the castle possesses, and he knows the moment his path crosses with Corvina that she's dangerous to everything that he is. They shouldn't have caught each other's eye. They cannot be. But a chill-inducing century-old mystery forces them to collide. People have disappeared every five years for more than a hundred years. Corvina is getting clues to unraveling it all, and Vad needs to keep an eye on her. So she be so and so begins the tale of the mysterious, the morbid, the macabre, and a deep love that blossoms in the unlikeliest of places. So I'm very excited for that one. I, lo I love a good gothic, dark academia, gothic love story. So I'm excited to read that one. And not to mention, like I said, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Justin bought me this book because it was pretty. He said she would like this. It's pretty. It has sprayed edges. And he was right. It is pretty. It sounds great. And I love it. And then we're going to read The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. This book, I like this book because it doesn't have a dust cover. It's a hardback, but I love that it's so pretty that it doesn't have a dust cover. So this one says, in Dertana's grandest mansion, an imperial officer lies dead, killed to all appearances, killed to all appearances when a tree erupted from his body. Even here at the Empire's borders, there where contagions abound and the blood of the Leviathans work strange magical changes, it's a death both terrifying and impossible. Assigned to investigate is Anna Dolbera, a detective whose reputation for brilliance is matched only by her eccentricities. Rumor has it she, that she had always wears a blindfold and can solve impossible cases without stepping outside the walls of her home. At her side is her new assistant, Denise Cole, magically altered in ways that make him the perfect aid to Anna's brilliance. Den is at turn scandalized, perplexed, and un infuriated by his new superior. But as the two close in on a mastermind and Anna makes on one startling deduction after the next, he realizes that she is indeed the Empire's greatest detective and wonders how long he can keep his own secrets safe from her piercing intellect. So I'm very excited. We got a little murder mystery going on with some magic in involved. That's gonna be exciting. And then we're going to read The Hemlock Queen by Hannah Witten. I just reread The Foxglove King. I loved that book. I think I loved it more the second time I read it because I was able to understand things a little more. I think the first time I read it, I was very distracted and I don't really know why, but I'm glad I reread it because it makes me look forward to this even more. And so I'm definitely going to be reading this in the fall months. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because again, go read The Foxglove King. It's fantastic. And then last but not least, the book, a book on my fall Fall TBR is The Crimson Crown by Heather Walter. This is supposed to be a Snow White retelling, but from the Evil Queen's perspective. Again, so stinking pretty. So yeah, so before the apple was poisoned, before the mirror was cursed, a witch became a queen and a queen became a villain. Her story has been shrouded in shadow, but now she will rise. So I'm very excited to read this one. Again, a bit of a chonker but I'm excited to get to it this fall. So that, my friends, is my fall TBR. I'm both intimidated and excited. I think it will be good. And then, obviously, as I go, we'll add books, you know, because I'm excited to read all of these books, and I probably will just start reading them all and get them all in this order and be happy to do so. But we'll see how it goes. We may have to mix some things in. So there's my fall TBR. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the shelf back here. I'm gonna put the Hemlock Queen and the Crimson Crown back on the shelf of honor back here, but then I will put the rest on the TBR shelf. We're gonna do that and then we will move on to planning September. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it.
friends. Now to the fun, the, the not so fun kind of fun part. I have to make my calendar, my lovely planner, match this calendar that hangs in our kitchen for my husband and my children match my phone calendar. <laughs> So I have to work on that now. So I'm, this is always a fun little experiment to see if I get it all right or get it all done. Things I put in my personal planner more or less include things on the Discord, like movie nights, book discussions, that kind of thing. So that will be going in this one along with all the other personal stuff that's going on as well. And then this one is normally like where I am, what Justin's doing, where the kids are, if they don't have school. That way it's there, the kids can see it, they can prep, and then so can Justin. And then this is mostly just a shared, a shared calendar for Justin and I, so that we both kind of know what's going on in each other's lives. So there you have it, folks. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. I got a cute little ambiance room going. I'm doing productivity sprints with my Discord friends, and so we're gonna go ahead. I've already pulled up, I've already pulled up Charlie's school calendar and Cadence's school calendar on my computer, and we're gonna go from there. So let's do it. Well, we are some busy, busy bees in September. Look at that. Like, good night. <sighs> Cadence is doing soccer and Girl Scouts. So that's a big part of my weeknights as well. Still, we're waiting till this evening for the calendar for the Discord, which will include any watch alongs, things of that nature, because I would really like to try to join those more, you know. My camera's about to die, so I guess that's it for me today. So I hope you guys are living your absolute best life, loving yourself completely unconditionally, and reading some really good books. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!